Flavanols sometimes referred to as flavanols are derivatives of flavins that use the 2-PHENYL3, 4-dehydro-2-HCHROMEN3-OL skeleton. These compounds include catechin, epicatechin gallate, epigallocatechin, epigallocatechin gallate, proanthocyanidins, theflavins, therabigins. Flavanols with an A are not to be confused with flavanols with an O, a class of flavonoids containing a ketone group. The single molecule monomer catechin, or isomer epicatechin C diagram, adds four hydroxyls to FLAVAN3OL, making building blocks for concatenated polymers proanthocyanidins and higher order polymers. Anthocyanidins. Flavanols possess two chiral carbons, meaning four diastereoisomers occur for each of them. Catechins are distinguished from the yellow, ketone containing flavonoids such as quercetin and rutin, which are called flavanols. Early use of the term bioflavonoid was imprecisely applied to include the flavanols, which are distinguished by absence of ketones. Catechin monomers, dimers, and trimers are colorless. Higher order polymers, anthocyanidins, exhibit deepening reds and become tannins. <laughs> Sources of catechins The catechins are abundant in teas derived from the tea plant Camellia sinensis, as well as in some cocos and chocolates made from the seeds of Theobroma cacao. Catechins are also present in the human diet in fruits, vegetables and wine, and are found in many other plant species. <laughs> Catechin and the gallets Catechin and epicatechin are epimers, with epicatechin and plus catechin being the most common optical isomers found in nature. Catechin was first isolated from the plant extract catechu, from which it derives its name. Heating catechin past its point of decomposition releases pyrocatechol, also called catechol, which explains the common origin of the names of these compounds. Epigallocatechin and gallocatechin contain an additional phenolic hydroxyl group when compared to epicatechin and catechin, respectively, similar to the difference in pyrogallol compared to pyrocatechol. Catechin gallates are gallic acid esters of the catechins, an example is epigallocatechin gallate, which is commonly the most abundant catechin in tea. <laughs> Metabolism of FLAVAN3OLS Topic: Biosynthesis of epicatechin. The flavonoids are products from a cinnamoyl CoA starter unit with chain extension using three molecules of malonyl CoA. Reactions are catalyzed by a type 3 PKS enzyme. These enzymes do not use ACPSs, but instead employ coenzyme A esters and have a single active site to perform the necessary series of reactions, e.g., chain extension, condensation, and cyclization. Chain extension of 4 hydroxycinnamoyl CoA with 3 molecules of malonyl CoA gives initially a polycotide, figure 1, which can be folded. These allow clason like reactions to occur, generating aromatic rings. Figure 1, schematic overview of the FLAVAN3OL epicatechin biosynthesis in plants. Enzymes are indicated in blue, abbreviated as follows: E1, phenylalanine ammonia lyase (PAL), E2, tyrosine ammonia lyase (TAL), E3, cinnamate 4 hydroxylase (E4), 4 coumaroyl (CoA ligase), E5, chalcone synthase (naringenin chalcone synthase), E6, chalcone isomerase, E7, flavonoid 3 hydroxylase, E8, flavonoid 1,3-hydroxylase, E9, dihydroflavanol 4 reductase, E10, anthocyanidin synthase leucoanthocyanidin dioxygenase, E11, anthocyanidin reductase. HSCOA, coenzyme A L tier, L tyrosine, L phi, L phenylalanine. <laughs> Metabolism in humans Most data for human metabolism of FLAVAN3OLS are available for monomeric compounds, especially catechin. These compounds are taken up and metabolized upon uptake in the jejunum, mainly by O-methylation and glucuronidation, and then further metabolized by the liver. 
The colonic microbiome has also an important role in the metabolism of FLAVAN3OLS and they are catabolized to smaller compounds such as 5-3-4-dihydroxyphenyl gamma-valerolactones and hippuric acid. Only FLAVAN3OLS with an intact EPI catechin moiety can be metabolized 5-3-4-dihydroxyphenyl gamma-valerolactones. Potential health effects of catechins The supposed health benefits of catechins have been studied extensively in humans and animal models, but there are no proven effects that apply to human health. Until 2013, neither the Food and Drug Administration nor the European Food Safety Authority had approved any health claim for catechins or approved any as pharmaceutical drugs. Moreover, several companies have been cautioned by the FDA over misleading health claims. In 2014, the European Food Safety Authority approved the following health claim for cocoa products containing 200 mg of flavanols and meeting the qualification in dietary supplement products. Cocoa flavanols help maintain the elasticity of blood vessels, which contributes to normal blood flow. Topic Possible reduced benefits An editorial warned against increasing one's intake of dark chocolate to improve health because the beneficial compounds, suggested to be flavanols, are sometimes removed due to their bitter taste without an indication on the label. Additionally, such a product is high in fat, sugar and calories, contributing to a poor diet if consumed in large amounts. Aglycones Analysis Fluorescence Lifetime Imaging Microscopy can be used to detect flavanols in plant cells. Other uses Recent study tested catechins employed to coat nanoparticles of iron oxides in the blood. These particles allow visualization of vessels, and especially cancer tumors in mice, in an MRI exam. The nanoparticles would clump together without the catechin coating. 